Hi, you're with Phone Arena and our video review of the Samsung S5560. Frankly, would you have to think about powerful feature phones like the Samsung Pixel 12 and Jet S8000? But they come with a rather steep price tag, so quite a few people might be unable to easily afford one of them. That's why we welcome models like the Samsung S5560 because they offer many of their functions at reasonable prices. The S5560 is a compact and lightweighted handset with contemporary design. There are three buttons on the front side, send and end keys, and an oddly shaped button that gets you a step back into menus. The 3-inch display with WKVGA native resolution is above them. It delivers relatively good image quality and feels really comfy to use thanks to its decent overall sensitivity that's quite good for a resistive screen. On either side you have volume rocker, camera shutter and screen lock button and we have to say we didn't have any problems with them. The Samsung S5560 is charged via micro USB slot located on the top side next to the 3.5mm jack. The back of the phone is plain, feels rubberized and provides quite a good grip. There is nothing innovative about the TouchWiz interface but it's easy enough to handle. The home screen can be personalized with widgets and we are pleasantly surprised that most of them are active applications and not just shortcuts to various functions. Placing widgets around involves same lagging and you would have to wait a bit until all relevant information gets updated, especially if you are registered with more online services. The main menu consists of three pages and allows access to interesting functions like the list of photo contacts that gets built automatically with your most frequently dialed contacts. The screen keyboards are quite handy to use and allow fast entry. The QWERTY layout is handy even if you happen to have thicker fingers and despite the relatively small size of the phone display. The pre-installed browser is a WebKit based, just like the one found on the Samsung Jet and you can zoom by double tapping or keeping your finger pressed against the screen. It might not be the fastest browser around, but it's up the mark for sure. We would advise you not to open heavier websites unless you're connected via Wi-Fi since this is the only high-speed connectivity option available to the phone. You can take nice snapshots with a 5 megapixel camera, especially in proper lighting conditions. Colors appear slightly oversaturated, but not to the point of being annoying. The flash kicks in if you fill up to the odd indoor picture and will help you to get less blurry and noisy images. It is a weak link, however, so you better stay away from pitch dark places. Unfortunately, the video capture functionality is limited because the maximum allowed resolution is QVGA, not to mention the overall quality is rather bad, really. The audio player has pleasing interface, visualizes large size album art and the presence of 3.5mm jack means you can always plug in your own headphone pair. The overall sound quality is possible for prolonged listening, provided the player is not going at full blast. We encountered certain issues with the in-call quality though. Our colors sounded somehow far off and muted. But no matter, we were able to understand them without a problem. The battery is robust and will keep the phone operational for more than two days of moderate use. As a whole, we are really pleased with the Samsung S5560. This is a mainstream cell phone with touch-sensitive screen that comes with good camera and proper internet browser, while all other functions are possible. If you cannot afford a high-end handset and think entry-level devices like the LG Cookie and Samsung Star are rather simple, the S5560 is a great option indeed.